Hey guys, this is Mr. Computer Reviews, and today we're going to do a review on the MSI Twin Frozer 3 GTX 660 non TI. This is just the normal GTX 660. It is running the GK106 core, and it has 960 CUDA cores. Um, I'm going to be doing some benchmarks to show you guys. I have 3D Mark 11 and 3D Mark Vantage, and I'm going to be using the performance preset on both and getting the scores out to you guys. Um, just to tell you guys from the beginning, this card is very quiet. Um, I can demonstrate that by using um, MSI Afterburner. And I'm using the latest drivers, 310.70, which are the latest drivers during this time during filming. Um, I have, I'm gonna, when I benchmark it, I'm gonna be using the stock clocks but my highest stable overclock I've been able to receive on this card using MSI Afterburner is 110% power limit core clock plus 68 I don't know how well you guys can see that and um, memory clock uh, plus 470 and I use auto uh, fan speeds and temperatures with auto fan speeds never go over 61 Celsius ever like that's like that's not even realistic. In realistic gaming, such as Battlefield 3 game gaming online and stuff, it doesn't go over 55 Celsius, which is very safe for the GTX 660. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some fans, um, like noise. And when I'm gonna be doing the benchmarks, the benchmarks are gonna be done stock um, settings for the card. So the card's going to be at just normal MSI factory, so I'm going to reset all the settings. And I'm going to show you guys a CPU-Z, and there's going to be a CPU-Z information link, so you guys can see what system I'm using. It's an i5-2500K, overclocked to 4.85 gigahertz, and 8 gigs of memory. And there's some information for you guys. And it, the the state their stable it's a stable clock using an um, MSI M Power motherboard, and there's the memory information, and that's to prove that I've, it's the GTX 660. All right, so when I get both benchmarks done, I'm gonna get back to you guys, and just so you guys can see, it's they're gonna be done in reset, so completely stock settings. And I'm just gonna minimize that, and we're, I'm gonna run 3D Mark Vantage first. All right, guys. If um, when I come back, I'll go over my conclusion and what did I see during the benchmarks. All right, guys. I'm back, and 3D Mark 11 on the performance preset scored 6,621 at stock settings for the GTX 660. And in 3D Mark 11, it surprisingly scored the same as it did in 3D uh, Mark. Wait, sorry guys, never mind. Here, there we go. There. In 3D Mark Vantage, it scored 25,170, and the GPU scored 25,455. Running also the pre uh, the preset performance setting. They're both preset performance. Um, and the G GTX 660 at this date is currently faster than the 7870, which comes at a higher price tag, because the 7870 here, this is the exact same system. Um, there, this these two systems are exactly the same. One of them's my friend's, and one of them's mine, and they're both exactly the same. And one of them has a 7870, and one of them has my GTX 660, both running stock. And the exact same systems, running at the exact same processor speed, with the exact same everything, except motherboards are different because they're different systems. Exact same RAM. And as you can see on the right, the GTX um, 660 um, beat the 7870 by a thousand points approximately. And that's a pretty good substantial margin. They're both running the latest drivers at this current date. So yeah, the 660 does pretty well in 3 Mark 11, and in 3 Mark Vantage, 
if you overclock it to what I had before earlier in the video, I usually get around 27,000 GPU score. And that's um, the benchmarks. And I'm going to show you guys the fan, um, the, like how loud the fans can get uh, right now, as soon as I start up. And um, all those tests were done completely stock settings. Alright, I'm going to now turn off auto fan, and I'm going to let you guys listen. The microphone's approximately going to be uh, around 12 inches, 1 foot away uh, from the graphics card. And I'm going to set first, I'm going to set it to 50% fan speed. So this is going to be 50%. It's at 50% fan speed. I'll let you guys listen for a couple seconds. It's honestly unedible, and uh, most of the noise you guys heard is probably from just the system fans. And now I'm going to put it onto 75% fan speed, and from the same distance, one foot away. The noise is uh, much more edible now, but it's still not near anything... Um, like loud such as a 6990 or a 480 this is much quieter and now 100% fan speeds from the same distance and please please keep in mind that the side panel is open all right uh that those were the fan speeds and I'm just going to enable back auto again. Thanks for watching the view, guys. Um, this is a great card for the budget. It's currently $230 on Newegg. And it's a good card. I'll p put a CPU um, Z in the uh, description. And I'll put my um, settings and my clocks on the GPU and memory uh, in the description. If you have any questions, please leave uh, some a comment below and I'll be glad to reply. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe.